Hello and welcome to another Charlotte Hornets match previous for the Charlotte Hornets versus Indiana Pacers game in which the Pacers are 6 and se- six and 10 on the year and the Charlotte Hornets being 9 and 7. Um, Hornets coming off a win against the Washington Wizards and the Pacers coming off a loss to the, in- uh, to the Detroit Pistons by 8 points. Not a great game for the Pacers that was. Um, but yeah, Brogdon with 20. It's a bonus. Double double. Miles Turner, quiet night for him. Karis Levert with 18. He's back. Um, but they had TJ Warren still out and Chris Duarte, who went crazy against the Hornets last time. He was out in that game, so he might be out again. Um, yeah. So coming to this game, Pacers 6 and 10, Hornets 9 and 7. Hornets not riding a four-game win streak at the moment, so hopefully they can keep the momentum going as the Pacers on a two-game losing streak. Now let's get to the injury reports for both of these teams. Firstly, f- firstly for your Charlotte Hornets, we've got PJ Washington. He's unfortunately still going to be out for this game. Um, hoping to see him return. He's returned to practice now, so hopefully see re- the return of PJ Washington in the near future. So... There'll be an interesting concept this game. Hornets hosted the Pacers on opening night down big. They were down big and they came back. Um, Hopefully we don't get in the same position where they were down big and have to claw our way back. But, you know, the Hornets have proved that they can do it and they probably, you know, they will do it if necessary. Um, Let's get to the Indiana Pacers and their injury report for this game. So the Indiana Pacers, like I mentioned, Chris Duarte, he is day-to-day at this moment in time. Um, Other players out include TJ Warren. I believe he is still out. Um, Yeah, TJ Warren's still out. Chris Duarte due to a shoulder. And that is about it for the Pacers. They're getting healthier, but, you know. So let's get to my three interesting things I'm looking for in this game. Uh, Number one. Just the thing, just to keep your eye on Ish Smith out of the rotation for a while now. Um, will he come back? Will he play? It should be interesting to see. I doubt he will, but yeah. Um, and then will we see some more flashes from Nick Richards that he is a real, he could re- be a role player off the bench? Could he? Could he not? You know, that'll be interesting to see him proving if he is or not. Um, third thing has got to be Miles Turner. And Sabonis together. Will they dominate the Hornets? The Hornets have been dominated all season by big men. I have to keep harping on about it because it's just happening. Um, so yeah, that will be interesting to see. I hope the Hornets can switch it up and make sure that that doesn't happen straight away. But I really do think the first couple quarters, I'm warning you, I think the first couple quarters we're going to see the ball just get smacked to Sabonis in the, in the post. It's Sabonis. Bounce, bounce. Oh, easy layup points. You know, don't be surprised if Sabonis has 20 points going into half. You know, that's just my hot take. I hope it doesn't happen. Trust me, I hope it doesn't happen, but quite possibly could happen. Um, so, yeah, that's just a wee quick preview. Hopefully that gets you excited for the Charlotte Hornets versus Indiana Pacers game. Coming at you tomorrow, um, 7 p.m. Eastern time, Eastern Standard Time, should I say. Um, hosted... In the Queen City again, yeah, back at the Spectrum Center for the fourth game, fourth game running, I believe, yeah. So, shall be interesting to see. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It yeah, be really good to see how far the teams have come. About 15 games into the season now, so yeah, hopefully the Hornets can make it a five game win streak and extend their record to 10 and 7. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll be back with you tomorrow for a review of the Charlotte Hornets vs. Indiana Pacers game. So long, guys.